Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year. And I hope all of you get a lot of successes in ru running and also always, always stay healthy in 2024. So first of all, I apologize for that. I didn't public any videos for a while in English because I've been so busy to teach Japanese customers. Anyway, let's dive into a topic. So in this video, I'm going to explain five things you want to do to get faster dramatically in 2024. There's nothing special. I just uh, explain one more time our fundamental things. So first of all, you want to increase frequency of running. In long distance running, it's almost impossible to train only five times a week and you reach at the elite level. It's almost impossible. Maybe it's still possible, but I've never heard of that someone trains only five times a week and uh, he runs like 5,000 meter under 15 minutes. I think it's almost impossible. Yeah, for some runners, very, very talented, and sometimes it's possible, but I've never heard of that in Japan and uh, all over the world. I, I've never heard of that. Also, Kenyan people, Kenyan runners train very consistently, and finally they reach at a uh, high level. So, first of all, you want to increase the frequency of running, and it's also even it's 20 minutes jogging is effective for beginners. I, I really think so. So I teach also sometimes junior high school students and uh, very often high school students. And when I started working with high school students, I started increasing the frequency of running instead of increasing the volume in one running session because they do not get used to running so well as much as I do. They don't. So if I give them 20K run in the beginning, maybe they get broken down sooner or later. So first of all, I increase the frequency of running. So up to like 12 times a week. And I, I, I think it's not normal or it, it's not fit for amateur runners who have a full-time job, then it's not easy, I think. But at least you want to increase the frequency up to four times a week. It's, it's very difficult to run marathon under three hours or uh, reach at your potential level with only running three times a week. It's very difficult or it's almost impossible. Yeah, you can do something still with running three times a week, but I don't think you can reach at your potential level. Yeah, of course you can increase your fitness level somehow, but uh, it's not your potential level. And you want to, ideally speaking, you want to increase the, the frequency of running six times a week or seven times a week. Then maybe you have a question, then when I can take a rest? Yeah, it's a very good question. Yeah, you need to take a recovery session, but recovery does not always mean doing nothing. In long distance running, maybe it's 20 minutes jogging or 30 minutes jogging, or it's also a good idea to go for a bike one hour or swim one hour, it's barely lightly. Or maybe you want to go to a gym and some core exercises and strength training. It's also a recovery session. And if you are older than 50 years old, then you also want to think about uh, cross training, meaning inline skating, bicycle, or swimming, or something like that. So you want to exercise but it's not running. That's, that's so-called cross-training. So, first of all, you want to increase the frequency of running. And it's, it's very simple and it always works. It always works. And second, you want to gradually increase mileage. So, first of all, you want to increase the frequency. And usually, one session should be short. It's like 
you you want you should start with like a 10 minute jogging 15 minute jogging 20 minute jogging 25 minute jogging and then you want to start increasing mileage gradually meaning you want to also increasing the distance in one running session so 30 minutes 40 minutes 50 minutes 60 minutes and also uh once a week long run the question is how long the long long run is it's depending on the fitness level for example high school boys who i teach or who i coach uh 20k is enough the maximal 20k and for me maximal 43k or 42k or something like that and for junior high school students maximal 15k and usually maximal 12k or 10k is enough for junior high school students but yeah i increase the number of running sessions but i do not increase the volume of long run maximal 12k or uh, 15k it's enough and for amateur runners yeah they are not as fit as high school boys who i coach but the difference is high school boys do maximal 10k not more than that but amateur runners their fitness level is lower than my my boys but they run full marathon in this case of course they want to increase the long run up to 40k or 42k maximal sometimes 30k 32k 35k it's depending on the fitness level or uh, uh, training in the past but in any cases i want them to increase the distance of long run up to 40k or 42k so second second factor is increasing mileage and also that means increasing the volume in one running session and third you want to increase the frequency of moderate runs what is moderate runs it's literally moderate runs meaning not fast not hard and not easy that's moderate runs it's very simple so moderate runs are also a little different between coaches and runners for example if my coach says moderate runs it's basically moderate so from the beginning to the end it's moderate so for me it's something like 20k the average pace is 345 per k it's a moderate 20k and sometimes it's slower and sometimes it's faster so sometimes 20k the average pace is 350 per k and sometimes uh 330 per k it's also a moderate round and for some coaches and for some runners they start running like warming up so they start running slowly and gradually increase the pace and finally they run fast enough that's a moderate run also but i call it easy to moderate runs but also uh, for some athletes and for some coaches that's also a moderate run so i'll give you an example so for elite runners for elite male runners they start running with 430 per k pace and they increase the pace gradually and finally they they run maybe the last lap 330 or 320 per k and it's also a moderate run so uh how fast it is depends on also their uh, current fitness level but you know you know what the what easy runs and what hard runs right you know that and moderate runs are simply not easy runs and also not hard runs it's very very simple and fourth you want to increase the intensity of moderate runs gradually people very often talk about interval workouts but basic training fundamental base is how fast you can run in moderate runs that's a basic thing so let's say uh yeah i coach high school boys and they uh they just run 5000 meters 16 40 now but they want to run in the next year 15 30 or under 15 minutes 5000 meter 
Then first things first, first things f f sorry. Uh, firstly, they should increase the intensity of moderate runs because if they cannot run in faster pace in moderate runs, then they cannot run faster in interval workouts like five times 1K. It's simply impossible. And they cannot handle these hard workouts like five times 1K every day or regularly. It's impossible. So maximum twice a week and usually once a week. So the question is, what do they do in the rest of weeks? They can still regularly do moderate runs like twice a week or three times a week. So they can do only once a week, a maximum twice a week, five times 1K, but they can handle up to three times or four times a week moderate runs. Then the basic training is moderate runs. And if they cannot run faster in moderate runs, they, they cannot run faster in interval workouts. So, and also uh, hard workouts are hard. Of course, of course it's hard. It's hard mentally and physically. Meaning if I give them uh, too much hard workouts, interval workouts, they start hating running. I'm 100% sure. Yeah, I love running, but I'm also a human being. So <laughs> if my coach gives me five times a week interval workouts, sooner or later, I start hating running. And just, just like that. So uh, I want to push them a little bit. And also they want to push themselves a little bit to reach at a higher level. But also I want them enjoy running and also they want to enjoy running. So that's why I do not give them too much interval workouts instead, uh, but uh, try to run faster gradually in moderate runs. This is the fourth thing. And fifth thing is increase the intensity of hard workouts in gradually. So also in hard workouts, First of all, increasing the volume first. So increasing volume first and then increasing the intensity. I'll give you an example. So for example, um, I'll give high school boys, maybe in the beginning, 6K tempo run. And then I'll give them 8K tempo run with same pace. And then I'll give them 10K tempo run with same pace. And then I increase the intensity of 10K tempo run. So this is how it works. And also interval workouts. For marathoners, maybe you want to do finally three times 5K. But first, first you start with 10 times 1K and then 12 times 1K and then six times 2K, and then four times 3K, and then five times 3K, and finally three times 5K. You also want to increase the volume of intensive workouts first, and then you can increase the intensity of hard workouts. If you can't handle something in slower pace, then you cannot do it in faster pace. It's very simple logic. And also uh, for some runners calculate their training pace based on their goal pace, but it very often does not work. For example, in this season, my 5K season best is 14.46, but I want to run 5,000 meter under 14 minutes meaning it's 247 per K pace. But my current fitness level is maybe something like 40, 13, 5. And then I cannot run five times 1K, 247. And even if I can, if I do it, maybe it's overtraining and sooner or later I get slower because it's too fast for my body. Yeah, maybe it, it, it's fast enough for my goal pace, but it's too fast for my body. It's different. So you want to increase the intensity of hard workouts gradually. It's always gradually, no matter what your goal pace is. 
let's say you want to run marathon under three hours in your future, but now your current fitness level is marathon 330, three hours, 30 minutes, then you cannot do 20K distance run uh, with 415 per K pace. It's, it's simply too fast for your body. Maybe it's fast enough for your, for your head or for your mind, but it's too fast for your body. So it does not work. So that's it, folks. I really hope you get faster dramatically in 2024. And like always, thank you for your watching my video or listening my video and see you again in the next video. Bye for now.